Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. NFL Week 2. I'm covering the Carolina Panthers are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Before we get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel right now so you can get all the updates every single time we have NFL prediction videos coming out. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the action. Uh, coming to this game, both these teams lost games last week. You're looking at Tampa being embarrassed by the Saints in Tom Brady's opening day parade. No. And then you're looking at the Carolina Panthers losing to the Las Vegas Raiders. It was kind of a tough game. Uh, but when you're looking overall at both of these teams, both these teams are headed in two totally different directions, if you will. Carolina, you don't know their path. You don't know what they're going to do. Um, Christian McCaffrey look, looked frustrated for the most part against the Raiders, and you don't know what the answer is. You don't know what the offense looks like. It's a whole lot of mismatched pieces for the Carolina Panthers, and... It's really mind-boggling. They got rid of Cam Newton with no real direction of where they're going. Teddy Bridgewater looked like a game manager most of the football game, and I don't understand why Teddy Bridgewater would be the starting quarterback if you're looking to just bridge, bridge, bridge an offense. Um, Tampa, on the other hand, I think Tampa was a little, uh, you know, overwhelmed. You know, the Saints offense can be overpowering, and I think for that to be a first game, they really didn't have their feet under themselves. And I think that they're going to be a Super Bowl contender, but they just have to get a couple of games to get their offense on track. I think that due to the current situation and what we're facing around the world with the climate and things like that and, and the, uh, you know, that going on, you don't really get the offensive timing that you normally would in a preseason game. So they're having to fit Fournette in. They're having to fit Gronk in. They're having to fit O.J. Howard in. They're having to fit all these guys in. And it's, it takes timing. It takes a couple of weeks of just playing against NFL teams so you can find where your sweet spots are. You have to find what plays that you like the best to call against certain defenses. And in this one, the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to do everything they can to work out new plays. They're going to work out new sets. They're going to do a whole lot of things. I think they're going to have success early and often against Carolina. I don't think Carolina is going to be a pest in this one. I think this is going to be a fairly easy game for Bruce Arians and company. And I think Tom Brady is start going to start look like the old Tom Brady. I know that he got hit a lot as far as overall what he was doing and not able to throw the ball down the field as much. But I think in this football game, Tampa Bay is going to win this game fairly handily. Um, and they're not going to have a lot of issues with Carolina at all. Um, so I'm picking the Bucks to win. All you Bucks fans, all you Panthers fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, check out the archives. Make sure you're liking, subs uh, subscribing, and sharing the videos in your Facebook group so we can debate with you and your sports team each and every week. Thank you all so very much. We'll see you next time.